video will demonstrate how to assign a Google Form quiz in Google Classroom. The first thing we'll need to do is open up the Google Form that you would like to assign using Classroom. Once your Google Form is open, I recommend you double check your form settings to make sure that you have all of the settings that you want, whether that's to require Foxy 6 Schools login to view the form, automatically collect the usernames, or only allowing one response per person. I always like to double check those right before I send out a form. Once you've checked your form settings and you know all of your questions are how you want them, go ahead and click the blue Send Form button in the top right hand corner of your screen. Once you click Send Form, you'll see this section that says Link to Share. We'll go ahead and click the short URL checkbox. What this does, it gives the students a shorter, cleaner link instead of the original long link that they can view. And then I'll go ahead and hit Control C on my keyboard to copy this link. And then I'll go ahead and click Done. Once I have copied the link to my live Google Form, next I need to go to the Google Classroom class to which I'd like to assign this form. Once I'm in my classroom, I'm going to go ahead and click Assignment, and then I'll give the assignment a title, a description, and a due date. Once I've given the quiz a title, a description, and a due date, I'll go ahead and add the Google Form to this quiz. To add the Google Form to this quiz, I need to click the Attach Link button. Once I've clicked Attach Link, I'll go ahead and paste the address to the Google Form link that we just copied and click Assign. Once the classroom stream updates, we'll be able to see that the quiz is right here and the thumbnail for the quiz is immediately to the left. I would instruct students to go to Google Classroom and click on the picture of the form and that will direct students right to the live version of this Google Form. In order to view the quiz results, you'll have to go back to the form. The quiz results will not be stored anywhere in Google Classroom. So I'm going to go back to my quiz here. In order to view the responses, I'm going to go ahead and click the View Responses icon. and that will take me to the spreadsheet where all of the quiz data is stored. This has been JP Presvento, Fox C6 EdTech Coordinator, demonstrating how to assign a Google Forms quiz using Google Classroom.